Let's talk to Jamie Jenkins uh, and find out what he makes of this green policy agenda. Jamie, very good morning to you. Good morning, Mike. How are you doing? Yeah, very well indeed. So, um, there's no question, is there, that we, if you can find a politician that will do away with the green levies, um, they will probably win a landslide election, but we can't find any. No, I, and I don't understand why, Mike, because if you look at the, the kind of the situation that we got at the moment, part of the reason why we are in the mess that we're in, and, and I've been looking at the numbers the last couple of weeks, is this, is it's not just the last couple of years, it's the last 30 years. Back in the 80s, Mike, you know, we used to produce most of our electricity through coal. There was very little gas used at all. It was less than 1%. So we had coal, we had a bit more nuclear, we had a bit of oil. And then successive governments, you know, through the Tony Blair years, the John Major years, the Cameron years, have moved and moved away from all of this. And, mm. and what we've got now is a situation, Mike, where 40% of the gas that we are using is actually, to, sorry, 40% of the electricity that is generated from gas. When I mean, people look at me when I say that and they think, well, I thought gas was just used to kind of heat the homes or, or cook your food. We're actually using gas to make electricity. And what we've also seen, Mike, over the last 20 years is that rather than relying on the the north sea for our gas we're actually importing more gas in 2021 mike we imported more gas than we used domestically for the first time yeah and, and that's kind of why we're in the situation where we are because the main role for government mike is to just provide the basic things that you need to live things such as water gas electricity yes. and we've slept walk our way now over the last 30 years into this energy security crisis. And this isn't just the Labour Party, it's the Tory Party as well as the Lib Dems. All three parties have failed us basically badly on this one, Mike. Well, that's right. And the gas that's coming in is mostly coming in from Europe. Now, we're told that most of our gas that's imported is not from Russia, but you've got to wonder whether some of it is coming via the European Union and is originally from Russia. It also turns out, and I put this to Steve Reid a moment ago, that we're actually exporting gas to France to help them with their crisis. I don't understand that business at all. So we get a lot of our gas, Mike, coming in on these kind of ships, the, the liquefied gas as well. So they come into the terminals. We've got a lot of them in the UK. And what you've got is, to, under the, the Tory government with Theresa May, they didn't help subsidise the gas storage facilities. So we've kind of closed them down, Mike. So at the moment, we've been having too much gas coming into the country because obviously we're not using it to heat our homes. And, and because we've got too much gas and we can't store it, we're sending it to Europe, but the prices now are all being set on what the kind of they're looking at forward looking in terms of prices. So when it comes to the winter, because we're not storing the gas now and we're sending it to Europe, we won't have enough of it. So the prices are going to go up in the winter because of that. And, and the thing is, Mike, this is, you know, there's some real problems going to hit the country here because if you look at the ONS facts and figures on kind of household income and household expenditure, the, the bottom 20% of households in the UK, you know, in terms of their income, when they've paid all their bills, you know, they've done all their kind of living, they look at their disposable income, they've got about £1,300 left at the end of the year. Now, with these energy prices going up, say, 3000 extra compared to the last year, it's not a case of them not wanting mm. to pay the bills. They physically can't pay the bills, Mike, because there's mm. just no money there for them to do it. So, no. And you know, the one thing we also know, Jamie, is that the wholesale price of energy has fallen uh, since the last time it was an all-time high, back in sort of 2008, 2009, around that time. Um, and everybody also knows that the reason why um, the retail price of fuel is so high now, and energy, is because of all these green levies, which nobody would do away with. And also, Mike, if you look at, say, China, they've just announced they're going to open 300 coal-fired power stations. They won't be having any worries this winter in terms of heating their homes. And we've kind of moved away from that. And there's no harm in going towards kind of green energy, Mike. But the thing that you need to get right first is your energy security. People are talking about putting more money into defence to defend our borders. Well, having a security policy, energy security policy, that doesn't secure your energy supply, is obviously sleepwalking into where we are today, Mike, yeah. and it's just absolute nonsense. The government needs to get a handle on this. You know, we shouldn't be just giving out handouts, but the government needs to act because they are part of the reason. And it's not just, say, this government. It's the last 30 years yeah. of why we are where we are today. No, absolutely right. One piece of good news to finish up on, Jamie. Uh, Mark Drakeford, the Welsh First Minister, has apparently been banned from one of Wales's best-known attractions. Tell us about that. Yeah, so he's been banned from some of the caves, um, some lovely <laughs> caves we've got in, in Wales, Mike. He's been banned by, by kind of the owner there because of his tourism tax that he's putting in across the country, which at the time of this cost of living crisis, we don't need a tourism tax in, uh, tax in Wales. You know, we've got 20 mile an hour speed limits coming. We've got kind of, 
the, the cost of living will impact on the, the demand for these things. Mm. So actually, Mike, I think in terms of some of the policies that Mark Drake has been coming up the last couple of years, rather than ban him from the caves, maybe they should send him to the caves and leave him there. <laughs> and leave him in there, yeah, absolutely. Switch off the lights. Thank you very much indeed. Jamie Jenkins, independent statistician there. Mark Drakeford, uh, a regular on Plank of the Week. He just missed out this week, I'm afraid. But uh, it's good to see the old Welsh uh, standing up to him and saying, actually, we don't really want a dictator in this country. Would you mind just, you know, taking a couple of days off?